Welcome back to Perspective on Channel One News Hour. Since devolution, a lot of regions have decided perhaps make some uh, some regional blocks to fast track the economic development. Well, today we look at one block, which is the coastal block, and uh, to help us dissect this uh, issue is the CEO uh, Emmanuel Nzai, who is the CEO of Jumia Ya County Zapwani. Yes. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Uh, perhaps uh, before even we delve into the issue of the of the, of the regional blocks, uh, the last time we checked, uh, you were uh, rooting for Kenyans to go to the ballot, uh, especially uh, on the Punguza Mzigo. Perhaps you can start with that. <laughs> Just one minute. Uh, th thank you, Ben, and I appreciate this opportunity to be here to talk about uh, uh, Jumuiya ya County Zapwani. Um, uh, yes, I was uh, I was the running mate to uh, Ekurwa Court of Third Way Alliance. And I thank you, the Kenyan people, for that opportunity. Uh, we came third. Uh, so if we were running a marathon, uh, we would all have a bronze. Uh, so I think we did very well. I think the Kenyan people had us. Uh, they had our ideas. Uh, however, at this point, when that election ended, uh, I took a break out of that. Uh, what I'm doing right now is the economic block. Uh, the Jumuiya ya County Zapwani. So yes, Punguza Mzigo uh, and Third Way Alliance, uh, but I'm not actively involved. Um, I've taken a break out of uh, politics. Uh, and at this point, as it stands, uh, I have made a decision I'm not running for political office in 2022. So we put that straight out. <laughs> uh, my focus is uh, doing what I know best, uh, economic development, and at this point, I'm very, very privileged to uh, to be working with uh, uh, with my home, uh, uh, the Jumuiya County Zapwani. Uh, let's go into the issue of the Jumuiya yeah, uh, County Zapwani. Uh, maybe we can start with how many counties are there? Uh, why did you decide, or perhaps why this uh, uh, initiative? Yes. Uh, yes, so Jumuiya County Zapwani is very, very interesting. Uh, it started in 2015. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's on record, it is the first economic block formation. Uh, and this involves the Old Coast Province, uh, which is the six coastal counties from 001 to 006, and that's Mombasa, Kwale, Kilifi, uh, Tana River, Lamo, and Taita Taveta. Uh, so this is a region which is historically known as the, oil, the, 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 the coastal region. Um, it's uh, of the same people uh, from all the way from Lamu, the Swahili coast, the Mijikenda, extending to the Taita Taveta, which are the same people. Uh, so they came in together and uh, this was very a very unique proposition. At that time, you remember when the governors were sworn in, uh, there was a whole conversation about uh, now county leadership. Yes. who is supreme between a governor and a senator, and how do they uh, get to work together. So at that point, uh, the governors had um, wanted to have a conversation uh, about that and kind of uh, put together uh, a direction of, uh, of leadership, a direction of uh, a political uh, uh, kind of alliances. Uh, but they also reached out to the professionals. Uh, mm -hmm. And I was one of the professionals and many, many others who put a concept together to say, let's put economic development first. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a region where we have a lot of resources, but yet we have a lot of poor people. Uh, we have marginalization to take care of. We have, uh, uh, we have the leadership issue that we have to take care of. There is corruption to take care of. Mm -hmm. So that was really the formation our Jumuiya Ya County Zapwani, uh, which brought together the political leadership, which is the county governors, mm -hmm. uh, the professionals on one end, and academia, uh, mm -hmm. the three local universities. And they all signed a cooperation agreement, and since then, it's where we are now. Four years down the line, you've talked about 2015 since uh, now. What have you been able uh, to achieve? Because looking at the region itself, uh, some uh, villages are extremely... Uh, poor at the coast. Yet, as you said, we have a lot of uh, potential in coast. We have minerals, we have even the pond. That is totally true. I think it's a process. And uh, the, uh, the, the economic block, uh, one, the coastal region, but all the others. There is now seven, by the way, ben, in the country now. Uh, as of uh, last month, in the leadership of the Minister of Devolution, uh, we put in a national policy which 
consolidated uh, the country into seven economic blocks. Mm -hmm. uh, so ours is Jumuiya, but there is uh, the Lake Region economic block, there is the Mount Kenya uh, economic blocks, there is the North Rift, there is the Frontier Counties, there is the South uh, Southeastern, there is the Narok and Kajado, which is the, la the last ones who, who, who have come in together. Now, on our end, I think uh, you are totally right. The pace of the blocks, uh, one, because they are new entities, uh, which are instruments of the county governments. They go in the pace of the county governments. Okay, So there needed to be a legal, legal and institutional framework uh, to be in place. The counties and blocks, we've gone in in many different ways of how we formed that. On our end, we did the cooperation agreement. Some of it went to the county governments. Uh, but of course, that's a political process. And yes, politics got to set in, elections got to come in, political parties got to come in to kind of uh, have, have that divide. Uh, but now, wh what have we achieved so far? What we have achieved, I think, of very, very critical uh, importance, which I think puts us ahead, uh, is harmonization of our policies. Uh, the six coastal counties in the 2018-2019 budget, uh, they, they have a total of 55 uh, billion, uh, just, just above 55 billion, okay? Now, that money looks very, very big when you look at it together. Uh, but when you spread it out to the smaller counties like Lam, which has the smallest budget, Tana River, which has a vast, uh, a vast land to cover, uh, Taita Taveta, which has a lot but has a smaller budget. Mombasa, with that burst of a population as a second largest city, it becomes very small. So the motivation was for us to harmonize our policies, to make sure we effectively use this budget. Uh, how, many, how many coconut trees are we going to plant in Kilifi, Kuale, and Tana River uh, for a total uh, for it to make up for a factory that's to be done? Um, if we are going to talk about a livestock value chain and reviving the like of the, the, the Kibarani slaughterhouse and build a modern habitat uh, to get into export, uh, that means you have to work with Lamu, Tana River, uh, Kilifi and even Kuale and of course the disease free zone in Taita Taveta to make sure you have animals which get to be slaughtered there. Uh, Go ahead. Perhaps to cut you uh, short, uh, is it in any way affiliated with politics and especially now Kenyans are uh, looking forward uh, to the 2022 uh, politics? Well, you know, look, uh, uh, county governors uh, are political uh, leaders. Uh, the, the economic blocks are formation by county governments, which is the county governors form at the apex and call it the board. You know, it is really the board of Jumuiya County Zapuan and so is everywhere, okay? Uh, the Lake Region, uh, the chairman of COG, Governor Paranya, is the chair of the economic block. He is also the chair of COG. He is also a deputy party leader, uh, so is uh, Governor Joho on our end, uh, who is a deputy party leader, and he is a deputy chair of the, of the Jumuiya County Zapuani. Governor Mvuria is the chairman, he is on the Jubilee end. So absolutely politics get to get in there. But you know, this is actually has been the story of maturity. Uh, of us being able to live with politics, but also talk about issue-based politics. I, and I think the economic blocks are providing that platform for us to bring this to test. Uh, that yes, politics, but especially the county governments, they are the lowest of the lowest uh, of uh, serving and service delivery for the people. Service delivery requires simply for you to plan uh, to plan policies, for you to budget with the little resources that you have and be able to move. It's all about listening to your people. So if these people uh, keep living in Kuale, but they work in Mombasa, uh, and Mombasa is, uh, is the biggest employer, uh, if you know that you want to have an arbiter in, uh, in, uh, in Mombasa and unlock the value chain of livestock and you want to revive Kibarani, you must know that Tana River holds uh, much of the largest livestock and Taita Taveta. So these conversations are not, yes, they, are, they could be political, but we are moving to a place where it's pure economic development and that's the conversation which we want to assert in the national policy framework that let's talk about economic development uh, for the counties with the regional economic blocks. Let's go back to the figures. 
55 billion. Uh, we know very well that the Kenya, in Kenya right now there is a lot of corruption. Uh, is this the same money that you use or uh, do we have any fundings from any perhaps donors? Correct. So, so the, yeah, the, so the 55 billion is what's in the budget and comes in from the treasurer and some of it. But you know the story around that. Uh, the 55 billion, one of it, some, some of that money gets really delayed to come out. Uh, some of it, uh, you know, b by, by virtue of the whole procurement process and the whole complexity, yes, it looks 55 in paper, but it is not. So again, divide that into the smaller counties uh, and how they get to move in the whole procurement processes, uh, the, 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 the wage bill that they have between the development and the operational costs, you know, that's why things kind of start to fall apart. So, uh, and this is why I think at the devolution conference, that conversation came in very, very heavily. Uh, and I'm glad the president talked about uh, potentially having a whole summit to talk about the wage bill in the country. Uh, because the wage bill is what makes the national government big. It is also what was exported to the counties where they have this huge stuff uh, which was inherited. Uh, so the result of it is, I think, uh, one county by itself cannot solve much of these problems. So the economic blocks come in to say, you know, let's kind of spread this, let's all think together in how we manage these smaller budgets that we have and collectively we have. And then from there we also have a negotiating place. Uh, where we can work with the national government around their larger projects, like the like of the Vision 2030 flagship project, which the coastal region hosts a good, uh, a good probably 60% of them, uh, from the Lapset, from the Dongo Kundu economic zone, uh, from uh, from the Port of Mombasa, from the Galana Kulalo, which is a whole story that I would really want to talk about. Um, so development partners, the same thing. You know, they want to work in a platform. Uh, that is not talking to uh, to each county. That's tiring and it's very, very costly. So if we add that and with a lot of efficiency, uh, I think uh, we believe uh, this region uh, and into our mantra, uh, we can be able to change this story in the next five years. And uh, still on the same, on the funding, uh, looking at uh, the coastal region, we have the port, we have minerals. Do we really need... Uh, additional funding from outside or even uh, loans, if at all, we have all this wealth at the coastal region. Because I'm um, trying to look at it and uh, you might find uh, some money might not be able to be accounted for. And uh, Kenya actually is grappling with the issue of debt. You are totally right. And uh, that, that, that's why in uh, the configuration of Jumuya ya County Zapwani, uh, we are trying to, we have, uh, we have um, the architecture of it is towards economic development, is towards uh, bringing wealth uh, to, to the locals. Um, it's about turning the story where uh, we have all this land, uh, but yet we have squatters. We have all this land, but there is hunger in this place. We have the schools that started here and uh, churches started here, but yes, we have a lot of illiteracy in this place. So the, the idea is for us to, 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 to change that. However, uh, for that to happen, a lot of things also need to happen at the national end. The national government is still holding on. Uh, that the, you know the the devolved funds and even this budget that we are talking about, if it holds some money for one or two three months, that gets to hurt. Okay, in the, in uh, at the lower level. So do we need uh, now that we have the ports, we have all these economies, we have the blue economy. Uh, why is it that we are still suffering? It's very very simple. It's still the national government who is holding on uh, to much of these resources. Uh, uh, in the name that it is their mandate. Uh, look, for example, in terms of mining. You know, uh, at this point, uh, based at Tanium, there is there is a whole lot of money held at the national government which needs to go uh, to Kuala County. Okay, that money has not been remit remitted, and in the name that there is no formulation, there is no regulation within the mining policy. And the, mine, the, 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 the Mining Act gives the national government much of that mandate uh, for, 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 for minerals.
So the, the formulation that we have is we're using uh, the current devolved functions uh, for each county to form a company. Uh, and that company's uh, first priority is for it to acquire land for land banking uh, and bring in investors. Okay. Secondly, from that, as Jumuya County is a Pwani, just like the Lake Region is forming a bank, we are putting in a Jumuya Fund. The Jumuya Fund is going to be a catalytic fund uh, where we support small medium enterprises. Um, we form special purpose vehicles uh, for us to basically be able to attract larger investors. So the like of that example I was giving of reviving uh, the Kibarani Slaughterhouse which was an employer of thousands, and now it's dead. The cashew nut factory in Kilifi, it's dead. Bixa is dead. Uh, uh, fish processing uh, plants which have been there have gone down. Just uh, now that you've uh, mentioned food, and uh, uh, let's, food so, uh, let's put some food on the table. Uh, there's, uh, Kenya is grappling with the issue of drought, and uh, you bear me witness the coastal region is one of the worst hit when uh, situations like this uh, hit Kenya. What is the region block doing to put food on the table and to ensure that everyone has something to eat? Very, very good question. In the last one year, we have partnered with the Food Agriculture Organization of the United Nations FAO. And uh, our priority in uh, developing our regional economic blueprint uh, we identified 14 sectors. Out of these 14 sectors, we said uh, the first one that we should really, really focus on is towards food and nutrition security for the region. So as we stand today, we have the phase one of that economic blueprint between the year 2018 to 2030, uh, which is harmonized policy framework for gender-sensitive food and nutrition security uh, and agribusiness. Mm -hmm. Much of these have actually been embedded in the current county integrated development plans and a lot of them are in motion as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, Kuala County uh, is a, a very good example. Uh, they've been able to, they have a good five dams. That's one of the areas which gets really, really hit in the areas uh, of Samburu and Kinango. Uh, they, with, in partnership with Safaricom, uh, they just opened up uh, one dam which is serving uh, 100 acres uh, of irrigation uh, and that's, uh, that's to expand. There's another dam being done um, uh, 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 out in Mwache. There are actually two dams around that. Uh, the funding is in place and that has started. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a World Bank project. So much of these uh, are projects which have been, and some of them have been undertaken by the national government. Some of them have uh, development partners, but some of them are initiated by the county governments. But on our end, because each county um, is responsible for the development, we get to embed on it and take a lead on it. So it's a very good example of how we have put food and nutrition security at the top of the agenda. Uh, and the county government has taken it, integrated into the CIDP, and it's moving forward. And that's a story which is replicated across uh, the six counties as we speak. As we wind up, the issue of um, people who are manning this regional block, uh, do the six counties feel really represented? And have you, have you, as you have said, Lamu is a very small, a very tiny county compared to Tana River and perhaps Mombasa. Does everyone feel represented in this regional block? Uh, absolutely, because uh, it, the, the, again, t take it that um, the structure of it is the six governors are the decision makers. The six governors are the board. They are the executive, they are the decision makers, and they are all elected. They are the ones who are leading uh, these economic blocks. Mm -hmm. uh, from that formulation, uh, each county government, of course, has its 10 departments uh, or somehow sectors which are divided, which are managed by the county executive. Mm -hmm. The county executive, we have formulated six sector working groups, uh, which are platforms of engagement, of exchange, of harmonizing policies. All these are chaired by the county executives uh, from these counties. And those meetings have been happening at least every two months. There's a meeting uh, going on somewhere. 
uh, around around the departments for them to to harmonize uh, to exchange what they are doing to learn uh, but also bring in new ideas bring in new partners in that conversation so fully fully represented and i think all of them are very very happy with uh, uh, with uh, how we are moving in terms of the cooperation and collaboration so far okay uh, we pressed for time. Thank you so much, Abwana Emmanuel. Uh, Thank you. Zai. Thank He's you the much. CEO appreciate it. of uh, Jumuiya ya County Zapwani. This is Perspective. We'll be right back with business news. Alan Aoko is prepared to tell us more on the shilling.